First, I have to ask you, do you mind being on video? You don't mind being on video? No, it's fine. All right, cool. I'm gonna get four three by ones, please. And then can I get three animal style fries? And then one chocolate milkshake, please. How many calories do you think that's all together? Too much for me. Too much? Just, you think yeah. so? All right, cool, because I'm gonna be eating that all by myself, so. How are you? Good, how you doing? Good, you got a chocolate Thank you. Is that oh, yes, please. And you got, can I get banana peppers too, please? Yeah. All right, thank you. So fast and hot. Have a good day. Holy shit. Lord. This video will be a long video. I feel like it would. Um, but hey, who doesn't like watching people eat a shit load of food in the minimum, 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 minimal, minimum amount of time? So hopefully you guys stick around through the whole thing. See you guys at the house. I got the house to myself and it's time to get naughty, bro. I am cheating today. Cause you know why? Cheaters will always be cheaters. That's probably a good title. So what I have here is four three by ones. And then I got three animal style fries. So you can see count one, two, three. And then of course to top it off, I got my 400 or 500 calorie chocolate shake. Estimated, estimated around 45 to 5,000 calories. So once I take my first bite, the timer will start. Start. I will pop it up on the screen at this exact moment. Mm. Mm. Now I know it's gonna be enjoyable at the beginning because I've been hungry. I've been hungry all day. I haven't eaten. What am I gonna do? I went out with some friends. I didn't drink. I was DD, so I didn't have to eat or drink. I mean, drink, eat, and drive, right? So I was DD. I wanted to eat so bad. I was so hungry. I was like, dude, I wanted to go to Americanis. And if you're from the Bay Area or from my area, everybody knows what I'm talking about when it comes to Americanas, bro. The only Mexican spot that I know that sells pizza is just as good as their burritos. And by the way, if uh, any of my friends are watching this, try the um, the Alfredo burrito. Chicken Alfredo burrito, so good. You will not regret it. One of my friends showed me that. Chicken Alfredo burrito. Who knew you could put pasta in a burrito? Okay, you know what? Originally, I wanted to, I didn't know. It's like doing this YouTube thing, one video a week. I kind of underestimated that concept. Because one video a week is tough. I don't get how daily vloggers could shoot stuff every day and people are still interested in it. So I was at work yesterday. I was watching videos. Joe Rogan. I'm sure you guys know who that is. Um, he has a little talk show or podcast. And the topic, the topic was working, working out smarter not harder or something like that. I'll post a link in the description. Really good video. It's coming from, I've forgotten who this guy is, but he's apparently he's a good, like, I don't know if he's a soccer player or a wrestler, two opposite sports, I don't know. The guy was talking about, hold on. And he had a good point, he had some good points. He's comparing himself to like bodybuilders, weightlifters and stuff like that, which I think is like, it's tough to compare because first of all, Two different sports, man. Way too different. I could say wrestling or boxing or soccer requires a higher amount of like stamina, cardio, endurance. And I know bodybuilding, weightlifting, you do need endurance. You need to last the hour and a half or however long you're at the gym, especially if you're doing drop sets or failure sets or compound movements. But it's not as much, it's not as like, okay, how can I put this? It's not as required as for like long longevity wise, you know what I mean? Like you don't need it for a long period of time. Usually working out or doing or doing reps or unless you're doing tempos, you really need like a burst of energy to push up the rep. And so it was kind of hard to really take his uh, his opinions into consideration because two different sports, but he did make some good points. <laughs> I'm already feeling it, dude. I should just got regular fries. But coming from someone who just started a channel, 
I was, you know, I'm kind of like not fully confident with my channel. I'm gonna let you know right now. When I post videos, I do have insecurities. I do have doubts. And I think the only people who would be shocked about this are the people that I know, my friends. My friends who actually watch my videos. And I have a little thing for like the people, my friends who don't watch my videos, I don't take any offense to it. I definitely understand because you hang out with me. You know, you see me, follow me on Instagram and stuff like that. I'm very you know prominent on social media. I always post and stuff like that. So I definitely understand. It's not, you know, I'm not going to go up to my friends and be like, hey, you watch my video, bro? I'm like, why don't you watch my video? You're not my friend. Why don't you like my... I don't care. You want to start a YouTube channel? There should be no hesitation because, first off, people are going to click and choose what they want to watch. You're not pushing You're not pushing it to every single person in the world. Not everyone's going to watch your stuff. Not everyone's going to like your stuff. And I think you have to keep that mentality. I think the best mentality to keep if you want to start a channel is to um, go at it in a fun perspective. Like, you just want to have fun. There's no ultimate agenda. I think people have a hesitation because they see all these YouTubers, these upcoming YouTubers, or these famous YouTubers who are earning money off of this, and they look so successful. But I, I do get it. Like, you watch it, and you're kind of like, damn, dude, I'm not going to be like that. That's too crazy. My secret to you, go to their first YouTube video. So different. So different. You'll be like, holy shit, they really did start it off somewhere. If you look at it where you want to make money, bro, you want to make that cheese, that Skrillas, you're not going to have fun. It's going to suck. That's what I feel like. That's what I can predict. Don't think about what other people are going to think. Because someone out there is going to like it just as much as the haters are going to hate it. And that's what I have to say. But who the hell am I? I'm no motivational speaker. I'm just a dude trying to eat 5,000 calories in one sit down. I was thinking about putting music on here. I don't know what music to put. Could put rap. A little better. Country. I dug my key into the side of this pretty little EDM. No. But then I thought the most neutral music I could put on here. Elevator music. <laughs> Ooh, shit, I don't know how to do this. So yeah, what I did to prep for this is I ate fish, poultry, seafood stuff, past three days, lean stuff, kept my fats low. Today I just came back from the gym, did a fast food workout. It was hard to push heavy weight, so I ended up just I would do heavy, then I'd finish the workout off with high volume, and I still got a good pump though. Like my pump was really good. My focus, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty focused, and I don't take pre-workout. The only pre-workout I take is like BCAs, but that's it, because caffeine is a stimulant. Yeah. I'm not a professional eater. So, at this point, I'm just listening to my body. Because I'm not trying to die off of YouTube for the sake of views. It's not worth it. This is just literally something I like to do for fun. stories of people going to the hospital because of YouTube. I'm sure there are. There's a lot of dumbasses out there. I have to take a stretch break. Oh my god. 
So I weighed myself this morning, put up the screen, weighed at 183, no water, no eating, not even a bite. I took a piss, 183. Don't worry, I know what you're thinking. I'm gonna weigh myself after this. Now think, think of a number you think I'm gonna weigh out. I'm 5'10", I weighed 183 this morning. What do you think I'm gonna weigh out? <laughs> Winner gets to watch my next video. Sorry ladies, if you don't love me at my worst, you don't, you don't, you don't deserve me at my best. I find that meme so funny. Like, who the hell are you out of billions of people to have that much narcissistic of a mindset? Who the hell cares? That, like, you say that, like, everyone's watching you. Everyone's watching you, dude. <laughs> people, people nowadays, they, they think the, the universe, like, when, you remember that statement, the universe doesn't revolve around you, bro. Well, shit, dude. That's goddamn true. Because people nowadays, they be complaining. They be talking, they be flexing, like everybody's watching them. And yeah, people are watching your snaps. Okay, I'm not gonna deny it. I honestly don't know if I can do it. Like I said, I'm gonna listen to my body on this one. And it sounds like my butthole is trying to say something. So I think I'm gonna have to throw in the white flag on this one. If you enjoyed it, I'm glad you did. But I'm finishing up this milkshake. I got this uh, chocolate milkshake. So this was supposed to be estimated like 5,000 calories. The fries alone were probably about 500 calories, maybe six because of all the sauce and stuff. The four by one is definitely about 750 to 800 calories alone. So my internals are bleeding. You know what that sounds like? An empty shake cup. All done. This was about 500 calories. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh wait, this is not done yet. I'm gonna go weigh myself and show you guys how much I weigh. After I go take a poop. Woo! Moment of truth. Yeah. Ooh. What the f I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect So offended that I had to double check I'ma always take the money over sex That's why they need me out the way what you expect Got a lot of blood and it's cold